Good morning, Rock Group. This is Nicole coming at you with a little bit of information and fuel for your brain to think about when it comes to your pits. And the reason I want to share it with you is because as women, there are so many hormone disruptors already circulating in our food, in the water. Why would you want to add it to your armpits? As it turns out, we happen to have hormone receptors in our armpits. And when we put synthetic ingredients on our armpits, like deodorant and antiperspirants, mm, antiperspirants more specifically, parabens, pesticides, um, aluminum, which are often found in antiperspirants, will definitely clog up your cores, uh, pores and also get directly absorbed into your skin. This will go directly to organs and generally doesn't get uh, transferred through your liver to get filtered out like other toxins do. So we're at a disadvantage as women and men. There is one particular ingredient found in antiperspirants that also affect the production of testosterone. So it might be worth taking a look into something more natural. As it turns out, Zizia International has created this product, which is a deodorant. It is not an antiperspirant. So those of you who are trying something new, yes, you're gonna sweat. Your body's supposed to do that. It's okay. Now only some of us actually make the odor that's caused when the bacteria in your armpit that's supposed to be there, it break down, breaks down lipids and other things. And we know that when bacteria does its work, it emits certain smells. Again, not everybody makes this. So if you're thinking about making a switch, from an antiperspirant to just a deodorant, I highly recommend our deodorant because it's made of three ingredients. It has activated charcoal, which will help with that odor. It has, um, of course, I got my glasses on, witch hazel and baking soda. So these are all ingredients that are not gonna stick to your skin. The phyllate, phyllate, phyllates, phyllates, it's the word I wrote in the comments there, that's the ingredient put in antiperspirants that makes the deodorant stick. So if you've ever been in the shower and you're trying to wash off your armpits and you're using your synthetic shampoos or, or your um, body wash and such, you're going to notice it may even get even more gummy and gross. Well, that dark colored film underneath your arm will continue unless you get something to wash it off. So I would, again, if you're just trying to be more natural and give your body what it needs, from the outside in, I would highly recommend that you take some witch hazel or apple cider vinegar and wash off your armpit to get that sticky film off. And then if you were shaving your armpits, then wait until it's completely dry and then go ahead and apply your deodorant if you're gonna be out and about. If you're just gonna be home for the day, my recommendation to you would be is to not use any kind of um, deodorant because most people aren't working hard enough or sweating in order to warrant the need for something like this. So that said, I highly recommend this product to trade out your old antiperspirant or find another natural product right there at your um, whole food store, but look at the ingredients first. Look for um, something that has essential oils, a baking so a baking powder or baking, sorry, baking soda, um, and something that's uh, not going to stick to your skin or disrupt your hormones. So ladies, I highly recommend that you stop using antiperspirant, especially if it has aluminum and other ingredients that not only can um, affect your hormones, which we all of a certain age have a problem with anyway, but also can cause breast cancer. So take a look. I'm going to be um, posting a link in the comp in, uh, in the precursor part here of an article I read that will help you understand what it is that I was just talking about. So you guys have a great afternoon and we'll talk to you all soon. Bye.